If you look close and you cut this apart, you could wrap this in all different ways of the hair. I'm going to take this ornament, which is plastic, so it's lightweight, and just pull this um, bottom off. And there's a number of things you could do. You could you could stick some hot glue in there and stick some long hairpins and stick that in and then wrap some hair around the bottom. You could paint glue on it and sprinkle glitter. And if you do it over um, a plate and sprinkle, then all your glitter will go here and then you can pour your glitter back in your container. Helps it stay nice and tight. There's there's no right or wrong way. You could drill a hole through this because it's plastic. It's just a matter of experimenting. And that's that's what's fun with fantasy work, is it's all experimenting. Part this this ball. I just think it's the ugliest thing I ever saw. <laughs> but I mostly got it because I really thought the um, crystals were so pretty. So I want to make an um, ornament that's going to go on her forehead. But when I'm looking, these are not the same. And there's an easy way to cut these. So I put it on her head to make sure it's going to lay in the right position and to see where I want to attach this piece in the back, how it's going to go into the hairstyle. So I'm just going to bend that up and don't be afraid, you know, to Envision. So I'm going to do a braid, and this is going to show right into the braid, and then this design is going to sit in front. So I might add some flowers. It's good to have all of your components pre-made and then as you build your hairstyle you might or might not use them all. I'm going to go over it with a, a clear enamel and add some glitter to tie it in. So let me just explain a little bit of a difference between um, what the two kinds of silver are. You can see this is a silver that does not have the iridescent. So the iridescent gives it that rainbow effect, that unicorn effect, and a, a regular silver does not have it. So here we have 
three different thicknesses. And um, yeah, so just start your collection, guys. So using the same technique that I used to create this, I'm making a couple of extra components. So I wired my pieces together, just going to loop them on to a hairpin here. So there's no right or wrong, there's just continuing to find solutions. Now I used to make, uh, I used to have a couple of Etsy stores and I made hair ornaments um, that I sold to brides and basically this is how I did it When you have a Little bit of a tail that will help it pop from the hairstyle better and Then when you wrap it on both sides you get more stability